Hello everyone. Uh, we're just joining. We are only one minute into the round, so let's see what's available. Let's do Quartermaster. And I'll show you guys how to make some money. Quartermaster's main job is to make money for the station. Um, I would not suggest picking this job as a newbie because it, well, it's not really that hard of a job to do if you don't know how the Quartermaster Cargo Depot works uh, you're going to run into some problems and then sometimes the miners will actually do their job and then they'll get really mad at you if you don't sell their ore so let's have a look so there's no other Quartermasters it's not unusual. So the first thing you want to do as the quartermaster is just take this. Just, I usually put it there. Um, you want to set up uh, the uh, the cargo bay. Now I usually hit this button. You'll see what it does is it closes these doors and this door. This is the one that's important. Uh, people will break in to the quartermaster lab using this door because uh, when it's open, it just flaps there and there's a bug that you can exploit to get through the flaps. So the next thing is to open these. By just clicking on these buttons, these open these doors. And you gotta set the conveyor belts. So that one you want to you want the gear to be facing this way, or the lever to be facing this way. So that causes the belt to come in. This one goes out. So these are the incoming and outgoing conveyor belts. Anything you order comes on this belt, and anything you want to sell goes on this belt. These belts up here are for sending things around the station. I generally don't use them. So, after that's set up, then you have to look at this computer here. So this computer basically controls all of the um, ordering and selling. So the first thing to do is check call trader. So these are all the traders. Um, I generally don't bother with this guy unless I want artifacts. He uh, usually wants weird stuff. Grog is good if um, the miners are doing their jobs. You can sell him ores. So we check out these other guys. I always check browse wanted goods. Electrical components? No. Food at 17 is pretty terrible. And yeah, nothing too appealing there. Let's see, check this guy. These guys are kind of random. They'll have mm, medical herbs, jumpsuits. Food at 19 is pretty crappy. Um, and Pianza usually has some weird offers. Telecrystals. Cigarettes for 98. Eh. All pretty crap. So another thing you can do is you have this view shipping market. So you click on this. This is a lot of different resources. Fresh produce is at 50 credits per unit. That's pretty good. Uh, so go to order items and you'll see a fresh produce crate for six, 600 credits and get 25 uh, you know assorted fresh produce I can't remember I think it works up to like 30 units or 30 credits per per produce so we're just gonna buy a whole bunch of these catering crates just buy all the crates this is usually what you have to do if there's no really stellar offers. And that's okay. Just buy these. Now, after I buy a bunch of these, you'll see right there it says next market shift. Um, I'll leave the screen on. Oh, not that one. Oh well. Okay, so I actually bought, accidentally bought a meat egg crate. See the next market shift here? Uh, so basically when the market shift happens, uh, that will cause Basically, uh, it will cause all of the 
all of the the market um, data to change, and it's all random how it changes. So it's gonna keep ordering these fresh produce crates. I accidentally got a condiment crate. I don't know what those sell for. It's probably the same. So we'll just keep buying these. And you can see up here, these are all the catering crates loading up. Nobody's made any requests yet. Um, a lot of people don't think to come to the Quartermasters to buy anything. Usually it's because uh, nobody really plays Quartermaster. Alright, we'll order one more. And we'll sell all these. So there. So, I've ordered a bunch of these crates. So now, we're not selling them to like merchants or anything, we just want to sell them back on the market. So, basically this is what you do. Yep. Just take them and you chuck them on this upper belt. And eventually they'll um, get processed. I think there's more than that. Now what can happen is they can get jammed up on the belt. See, we've got 2,000 credits no, some, on a 600 credit crate. So, 2,400 credits. That's a really good deal. Usually catering crates go for quite a bit on the market. So here's another two more coming. See that one? That was probably uh, the condiment crate or the meat crate or something. So, because uh, I think I misclicked and clicked a condiment crate, you don't get much for those. wait for all those. While we wait, uh, there is one thing that we can do. Just gonna drag this box behind me. So... Grab some of these sheets. So I guess that guy in the pink jumpsuit has an all-access card. Good for him. So, throw these sheets into the mining fabricator. Let's see how we're doing on our budget now. Still short a few credits. Let's see if uh, a bunch of crates got stuck outside. Yeah. So you see, some of these crates just got stuck out there. <laughs> now sometimes you can unstick them by ordering another crate of something. It might work, and it might not. Oh yeah, there it goes, see? So, it's always something to watch out for. So what we can do here is uh, these fabricators start out with 20 of each, at least the mining fabricator does. 
And so with the um, sheets, make an engineering spacesuit. Right on. Okay. Guy was printing out barcodes for some reason. Okay, I don't want to sell my paint cans. I'm going to keep those. There we go. So we have an engineering spacesuit. Not sure what we're going to do with it yet. Maybe we'll go exploring. But first... Oh. So, ah, oh, there we go. Really laggy updating the budget there. Um, so you see what happened here? The market shifted, and now 140 credits for fresh produce. So basically, uh, what this means is that we're going to be doing that exact same thing we just did. Shit, that's the wrong crate. Uh, there's nothing you can do if you order the wrong one. Once you once you click on it, you have to order it. Um, that's the one I want. Unfortunately, there's no way to order the crates any faster than this, which is really annoying. Somebody here. Oops. For being, what's going on here? So, I'm just going to keep on ordering crates. Oh, this guy's got some ore to sell, I guess. All right. Let's, uh... Very rare for people to deliver it in person. Usually, uh... People use the teleporter here. <laughs> All those crates. So... We could be smart about this, but I'm not going to. Just dump them both in there. See you later. You, c I could have like checked out what those ores were, and then maybe checked with the traders and see if there was like you know some big sale or something on for some ore or whatever. But nope, not gonna do it. Just gonna keep ordering fresh produce. It's a pretty big, uh, pretty big sale. So 
So I'm just going to keep ordering these fresh produce crates. And uh, I'll start loading them for sale at about the five minute mark. Takes time for these uh, things to trundle down the conveyor belt. So, till then, I'll just try to order as many as I can. So, this is basically what you do as a quartermaster. You try to find something that works to build up the budget and then use it. Sometimes the miners will help you out, like that guy just did. His uh, shipment was only worth about 3k. Because you guys saw that other crate, that last one, that sold for like 9. So uh, catering crates are usually a pretty good... A note from the HOP. And what's he got to say? Hi, I'll just... Okay. Whatever. I, I don't care. Okay, let's load up all these crates. Oh great, that guy's got all access. He's gonna be screwing around in here. Oh, it's uh... Maybe that's another QM. And he's stealing one of the crates. Okay, so actually his shipment was worth about 4k, or 5k. So it's not bad. I'm gonna go cook in the kitchen. And it's okay if he takes a crate. We've got room, uh, we've got room in the, in the budget for him to have some fun. So... And uh, he's going to take our space suit, too. We can get another one. Just going to order an empty crate. There's probably crates strewn about. So much food. Already? So this announcement occurs sometimes. Uh, the station starts out with a hundred grand. Uh, we get about ten of it. Um, most of it is in payroll, and I think genetics gets like five thousand or ten thousand. Let's just see if he can just not take my spacesuit. <laughs> Sometimes these guys just storm in. You know. So, wait for all that food to sell. A lot of food. Well, we've got 87 grand now. So, uh, we're doing pretty good. Just 
keep on uh, getting the food out. Oh, it's a doctor. Oh, he's got like a full title and everything. What's he need? Spare tools? Let's order him some tools. It's so rare that anybody ever comes around here. Um, engineering crate. Okay, so we're just going to wait for that toolbox to arrive for him. Uh, we got 120 grand. I mean, we can afford to buy him a toolbox. Oh, did it get jammed? Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Shipping market is going to shift in a moment. There we go. So, that's a crate. There's the engineering crate. So, open this. Toolbox. There you go. There we go. We helped a crewman. You know that saying, you know, if I only help only one person, then I've done my job. Well, there it is in action. We helped one person. Fresh produce is still really high. So, let's just uh let's just continue doing that. It works. I don't see any need to uh to change our ways. Oh, well, we're going to buy more paint cans, apparently. I misclicked. Paint cans are good. Uh, he's, uh... following his scanner there. So, just gonna keep playing the food market because it's just not enough money. I mean, really, you know, can we say that we've made that we have enough? What if the AI takes all that money and, you know, gives it to the captain? That's happened before. We don't know if that will be enough money. So we better, you know, just just keep on doing this. One thing that I hope they eventually implement is just, it would be nice if I could just put in a number and then get that many crates. Or, I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe you could just click on you know, click on the button a bunch of times rather than having this. And this whole comment thing, I mean, you can type some stuff in there and then it'll label the crate with that stuff, but nobody ever uses it. I think I've seen it used like a whole three times. Um, just keep on ordering food. I don't think anybody will argue, uh, you know, we need the food, right? Mucho food. Yep. Oh, Mr. Maxo was going to help us out.
So, just keep on ordering food. There is other stuff to order, of course. It's not all just about doing what I'm doing. Um, but I saw on the thread people wanted to know how to use the quartermasters to make money, and this is this is basically how you do it. This is actually pretty good for not having for only having mining, you know, give you one load of stuff. Uh, you can get budgets of like five hundred thousand if uh, mining is willing to help you out. But uh, usually you don't get much from mining. So that's not bad. It's not the you know crazy amount of money we were getting before, but I mean if we pay six hundred and we send out for four grand who's to argue, right? Hmm. So when you got another guy up here can help. We dropped a lot of handcuffs off. So because we have a guy helping us, we can probably order almost to the end of the current market shift. Usually when you see those high demands on the market, you want to go ahead and, and cater to that, but not all the time will you be able to. Uh, sometimes you'll get deals from the traders that will cor correspond to those high demand, and then you have to order from the traders and then sell to them or whatever. So. Just keep on trading this food. Got a couple minutes left. The um, old method of doing this used to be uh, metal. You used to take metal and then ship it back out. But uh, that doesn't work anymore. Alright. I think that'll be the last of it. Still quite a bit to come in. Let's see. What's Grog selling? Terrible to eat. This is Erebite. Um it's very volatile. If you're a trader quartermaster, you get this stuff, you can <laughs> use it to blow up a whole bunch of the station just by throwing a welder at it. It's uh, pretty good. What's it want? I've only seen this this thing come up once and it um, you can make a lot of money if you actually manage to sell that. Sillery. I love the things that Grog says. I'm buying celery. Not too many, though. Don't want to get fat. <laughs> uh. So much money. Okay. Yeah, we are at 155k. We've we've now made money for the station. This like the station's budget is out, 
but they could easily transfer like you know a bunch of that into payroll but they're not going to because some jerk probably just emptied it and then forgot about the budget computer so we're just gonna wait for the next market shift here there it goes let's see what's uh, going on now see uh, holy crap Well, there's still quite a bit of food to to go. <laughs> so let's see. It always says six available, but for some reason when you actually do it, like you see there's only five here. Last time there's only two. It's pretty up in the air. Citrines. We don't got a source for citrines. Goods for sale. Sheets of construction grade material. You can get a small discount on uh, sheet, me sheet metal. It's usually 10 credits per unit. Um, Buford Tannin, which I guess is a Back to the Future reference. He sometimes sells interesting things. Weed Killer. Eh. And then. He also sells, he, he generally wants like weed and stuff. So if you have like botany working for you. It's Trader Purcell selling or CD ammo. It's not going to get used for that. Uh, and then just he wants random stuff. So we're selling artifacts, alien artifacts. See, 4K per unit. The end of the arrivals. <laughs> I think he's gonna go fix it. Let's see. Oh, we gotta hit this button for him. <laughs> What's this guy need? <laughs> but it. You have a strong but it. Yeah. Some good, uh, good typing there. Worried about the changeling. Well, what can I do? Oh. Drugs. <laughs> so apparently there might be a changeling around. Let's uh, get some artifacts. So, I bought four of his artifacts. I could have haggled the price, but you generally can't get too much from these guys. So I added it to the cart. You go to the main menu. Um, that didn't work. Go back. There we go. View shopping cart. And uh, then you hit purchase. <laughs> Catering crates are still coming in. Ah, uh, so many catering crates.
So, just tell them not to resell that one. The crates can still go. So he's taking to just managing it out there. That's efficient. So, artifact research. I have explained this in another video, but there's a ghetto way to do it. Just lay all these out. And grab a toolbox. Grab the welder. And just smack them all with the welder. My eyes are burning. I guess I better put a welding helmet on. I got a welding helmet. There we go. I don't have to worry about getting eye damage. That can make playing this game very difficult. Okay, so nothing activated with the welder. Everything you can do is just bash them. See if that does anything. Nope. Okay. So now you can hit yourself with them. Nope. Oh wow. That did a lot of damage. Oh it's active. So Okay, that one didn't do anything. Oh, <laughs> that one stuns you. least presence in the back of your mind. Uh, so this might be an admin. <laughs> I think he's basically saying, um, you know, since I got dangerous artifacts, don't, like, hurt people with them and get banned. Alright, let's lift up my welding helmet. So this one's a stunning artifact. And this one's a damaging artifact. Yeah, it does quite a bit of brute damage. <laughs> the cops are inside of your mind. Oh, and we ran out of power. Or somebody's cut the power. Ah, uh, you see the computer terminal's blank there. Yep, equipment's turned off. So, for some reason, something or someone just cut the power. Let's see if. Uh, force of law assaults your mind. Okay. <laughs> yep. Alright. I don't think the AI is going to listen to us. Well, let's go get healed up then. quite how you pronounce that. I would say Vuvuzela, but that might not be correct. Um, oh. Okay, sure. Well, there's the chef. 
Looks like he's having a time. Oh, this is open. Uh, let's see here. Got a burn kit. Not sure if we got burnt or brute. Looks like it's brute damage. Oh, so it does about 15 or like 12, probably 12.5 brute damage, that artifact. Not an impressive amount, but. So, med medical board healed us up. That's good. And now power's failing everywhere. So, we have the tools. Well, most of the tools that we need to restore power to the quartermaster lab here. So, we might as well do it. Um, where is that general manufacturer? It's this one. This one is the only one that doesn't start with anything in it. Maybe if that window would come up, I would totally show you that. Oh, right, because there's no equipment power. You can't use that thing either. Um, all we need is a multi-tool, though. Where would be a good place to get? Right there. So there, with the multi-tool, we have everything we need. Because I bought that engineering crate. What we do, throw on these gloves so we don't get electrocuted. I'll just take the whole toolbox. And go up here. <laughs> uh, I haven't been paying attention to this. You're getting assaulted by the cop. So, just open up the toolbox here. Screwdriver. Exposes the wires. And then, you can pulse these wires. Whoa. M what? What? Apparently he was able to make my left leg fall off. That's a little alarming. Uh, okay, that's pulse wires. Okay. Can't short it in. to fix our legs. Our leg. The cop apparently made our leg blow off and then... I don't know. But we need to fix our leg now. So how you do that is you get a welder. Right leg, wrong one. Okay. And now it's really warm. Oh, we're on fire. So, I'm pretty sure I've demoed this before, but basically we drop and then we just start doing this. And hopefully. Okay. So that was rough. Those cops, man. They just, uh. Just keep coming sometimes. Oh, my multi tool's back here. Alright, drop. And now we walk slow, because we're very injured and we're missing a leg.
I don't think we can do that. I think we actually have to cut and reattach the wire. So, get these. There we go. So the next thing, though, is that the, uh, there we go. So now that the APC is unlocked, I'll just use a screwdriver again. So it's all set to auto. So I don't quite get why this power cell isn't charging. Should be. Switch equipment. To, oh, no, there it goes. All right. There. This is back in business. Um, I am going to order a medical crate. And then we'll get our leg attended to. first aid kit. That is what we need. Okay. Let's see how the market's doing. Metal sheets. So, me metal sheets I generally don't do anything with, because these are 10 and you only get 14. It's not very much, considering that with fresh produce it's now at 130 units. Could make some serious money there. In fact, I think I will. I think I'll show off something else uh, that I think a lot of quartermasters have a hard time with. I'm just going to order a couple of these, get this going. There we go. Okay, so, got our medical crate over here. at least heal ourselves up a bit. We won't be able to reattach our leg, we'd have to go to med bay for that. Uh, I think we just need the regular one. So we can just scan ourselves and see. So see it's mostly burn damage this time. So that can be easily fixed with a burn patch. Right on our leg. Okay. So these anomalies are now going to appear for a bit. And basically, they'll just teleport your random distance. Um, they're usually not too bothersome, but sometimes they can like appear right in a doorway or right where you need to go, and then you're kind of stuck. So somebody printed off some sticker. Just put that down there. Okay. So this is the barcode computer. And I think that a lot of people have a difficulty figuring out how this thing works. So to transfer items to other docks, you just use these top buttons. If you want to sell to a trader, you use these buttons here. 
However, a lot of miners will want you to, um, they'll probably have done it themselves, but sometimes they won't and then they'll need you to do it. Uh, you'll need their card to do it, but basically, you put your, you swipe your card in, it says card authorized, and that's all it does. So then what you do, is you click this add tag button, and then I'll just click, you know, QM doc. it doesn't matter which one you click. And you get a tag. So what you do is click on the crate. It applies the sticker. It also opens the crate. I hate that. I don't know why it does that. So it'll say catering fresh produce belongs to Jerry Wilkinson. That's us. So now when we take this and, we, and then we slap it into the cell belt here. A wonderful thing happens. I don't think you have to swipe the card again. I think that once you do it once, uh, that's it. Let's see. Yeah. Might be a changeling. So I'm gonna put for those to sell. Let's try and get new legs. So, what should happen here is we should get half uh, of what those crates sell for because we had a tag on them with our name on it. Borg's helping us out. I'm going to check the ATM and make sure that that's actually working. Yeah, I see it says right here, splitting half of profits with Jerry Wilkinson. Weird that this one didn't do that. But the furious note. So we're going to try to get some legs, and uh, then we'll try to get out of here. So the score at the end of the round should... Uh, should be pretty good because we shipped a lot of items and generally although nobody really cares about the score the score usually is dependent on the quartermasters there's really um, not much else that affects it I'll we'll just slowly limp our way over to med bay I guess I could have picked up my leg but maybe they'll give me a robot leg Although with the shuttle coming, I think I'm just going to go wait for the shuttle. I do not think that we'll get richest escapee if we escape. <laughs> oh god. Ghost has something in his hand. What's he got? Oh god, we're going to get flashed. Yeah, can stop that. We use disarm. So if that ghost tries to flash us, this welding helmet will protect us, and then I'm going to kill him and take his well not kill him, but I'm gonna take his flash. And then uh flash him with it. <laughs> no, Oh wait, maybe the shuttle will get called again. <laughs> Alright, there's a the shuttle, so now we can go forward. Ah, 
Um. Uh oh. Okay. Whoa. That's okay. It's a lot of blood. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, so blood is appearing on the empty escape shuttle. And now it's turning red. <laughs> um, okay. So This is a usual escape shuttle shenanigans. Metal foam. <laughs> I think the cop was just in our minds. Poor guy, man. He just wanted to see the cop one last time. And that's the end of the round. So. Yeah, it was a changeling round. You can see all the changelings here. So, see, useful items shipped. 2,818 for 14,000 points. Nothing else in this even comes close to having 14,000 points. So... <laughs> That's pretty much how the QM determines the final score of the game. And then also you can see here, we uh, did a good job creating a budget for the station. You want to so, find the although everybody money. else wasted their money, uh, we didn't waste the station's money. So, and apparently Atomic Thumbs was the cop. So that's good to know. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>